Hey there guys, how's it going? Alright, I hope that you started a brand new day. Now, uh, please listen to this audio. It's a video. Please check it out about memory control. How do I control my memory? I have quite a few friends and people I know who have who forgot about the things what happened like two, three, or even 10, or even 20 years ago, which is, yeah, yeah, yeah. So am I smart? No, I because I do some exercises and I take some kind of things which are really, really helpful. All right, so check out this video and please go to the description box and get those mental health pills for your benefit of your brain. How does human memory work? By Academy of Learning Career College. This model provides a helpful framework for thinking about how memory works. Memory can be thought of as having three critical components. Sensory memory. Sensory memory takes information from the environment through the human senses, sight, hearing, touch, taste, and smell. Sensory memory can take a lot of information, but information is stored for only a very short time, with visual information being stored for less than half a second and auditory information being stored for only three to four seconds. Working memory. Working memory is what you are conscious of or what you are thinking about at any given moment. This is where the memory work happens. People can only handle a small amount of information in their working memory at one time. We cannot think about a million things at once. In fact, we can only hold about four things in our working memory at a time. We also cannot hold that information for very long. Working memory duration is about 5 to 20 seconds unless we actively try to remember information by repeating it. Long-term memory. Long-term memory is where we hold all our memories. One goal of learning is to get information into long-term memory so we can use it later when we need it. We have a lot of room to store memories, but the memories we store are not perfect representations of the outside world. Long-term memory is relatively permanent. However, if we want to maintain easy access to a memory, we need to retrieve that information regularly. What this means is that learning depends on three critical processes. Attention, encoding, and retrieval. Attention. To get new information into long-term memory, it must go through the working memory and to get into working memory, we must pay attention to it. This means that attention and focus are the starting point for learning. If learners are not paying attention to course materials, they will not be able to process the information or remember it later. Distractions, text messages, notifications, daydreaming, are not helpful for learning. Encoding once we are conscious of information in our working memories, we want to encode the information into long-term memory. Encoding is made easier when learners connect new information to what they already know. Information and processes are repeated. Information is assembled, structured, and organized. It can help to think of your memory a little bit like a filing cabinet. It is easier to find things when they are filed away in an organized fashion. Information is translated from however it is originally seen and heard into something created by the learner. Retrieval Taking information out of long-term memory and into our conscious working memory so we can change our behavior. Retrieval gets easier when you practice. The more you retrieve something from long-term memory, the easier it becomes. People who have been tested on material are more likely to remember it later and apply it than people who only studied the material.